Well, hello everybody. It's Michelle Johnston, the Monarch Mariposa. And I've been a busy, busy beaver lately. And so I thought I would just hop on and do a really quick live uh, because I feel like some, some of you may appreciate this message that I'm going to send to you today about balancing out your to-do lists. Um, and that's exactly what's what uh, I'm experiencing right now, and I know we constantly experience are, are those to-do lists, they just keep piling up and piling up and piling up, and we all know they're never going to go away, right? And um, you, it can get to a point where the to-do lists are just, especially this time of year, just so long, so long, so long, and um, you can get burnt out, and you can get caught up in overwhelm, and put a, you can actually like give me a, a heck yes in the comments if this happens to you. If you, if your to-do list just seem to grow and grow and grow and you feel like even when you cross things off, they, they seem to multiply <laughs> and get longer and longer. And you think, ah, when am I ever going to get all of this done? And it just brings me back to that quote. And I can't remember who it was from, who that this original quote was from, and I apologize for that. Um, but it's the quote that says, you know, and every day this will pull you and say this is important and something else will pull you and say this is important and something else will pull you and say this is important. And it's your job to just stop it all, put your hands on your heart and say, no, actually this is what is important. So this is just my um, encouragement to you and my reminder to you to, yes, do the things. Do the things that need to get done. But first of all, make sure you are prioritizing your things first, um, especially in today's day and age with, all, with email and social media and everything. Most of our days are caught up um, doing other people's things. So... You know, you're, I don't know, you, you get all these emails and you, you, uh, they're asking you, can you do this for me? Can you do that for me? And then all of a sudden you're filling your day up with other people's needs and not with your actual needs. So, so first of all, take a moment and ask yourself, is this really, is this, um, one of my needs? Is this something that I need to get done? Is this going to help me out? And also try a little like do two things on your list and then go take a break and then do two more things and then go take a break and then do two more things and then go take a break. And it's that simple to throw some balance into your life. Here in Canada right now, we are getting this gorgeous weather for this time of year. And um, I've been doing some work today, lots of work today, and, and now I'm going to balance it out, go get some fresh air. And that way, when you give yourself these little rests, then you can come back refreshed to hit the next couple of things on your to-do lists, right? So just a reminder to make sure that you are integrating little bits of self-care, little pauses, little breaks, even to take a little breather, 10-minute breather, go outside, get some exercise, nourish yourself. How many of you, you can put this in the comments too, how many of you get through to the end of the day and you're like, oh my gosh, I haven't even fed myself yet, right? You matter, you matter, your nutrition matters, your health matters, and if you're not taking care of yourself and your health and your nutrition and your well-being and your emotional well-being and your mental well-being, then those things on the to-do list don't matter anyway because you're going to be sick, right? Or you're just going to be too drained and too tired to do anything else. So really crucial that you are integrating. And I, I feel like we're always trying to seek balance and things might not ever be perfectly balanced, but you can take little steps to find more balance in your life. Okay, so um, that's it. That's my quick little uh, live for today, my little inspirational talk. And if you are curious about, like if you need some more guidance about finding some balance in your life, if you're really, really struggling with it, feel free to send me a private message. We can chat about it. And also for anybody who's local I uh, to the Orangeville, Caledon area, um, 
you know, it can reach as far as Shelburne, Fergus, Guelph, um, Alliston, Newmarket. I'm look. I'm I'm literally looking all around me. Brampton, <laughs> going in all directions, north, south, east, west, around me. I'm running a workshop this Saturday at the studio here in Alton, Ontario, and we're making homemade Christmas cards or handmade Christmas cards, however you want to say it. And uh, it's something that I've started to do on my own again. It's something I did years and years ago. Dropped it and just started it up again this year. And it's bringing me so much joy to to get creative, knowing that I'm going to be gift, gifting this to somebody who's really going to uh, appreciate it. So it's just fun. It's a fun, creative thing to do. Um, I'm going to do it live here in the studio for a few people. Um, but I'm also doing something new this time, and I'm going to be live streaming the workshop for anybody who can't make it physically to the studio. They can, you can stream it from your home and still do the workshop. You have to use your own materials. It will obviously be at a discounted cost because you're not using my materials. But um, wouldn't that be fun? Then you can join us. It'll be like a, like a, a virtual group. So really excited to start adding those kinds of things to my repertoire, the uh, live classes. So that's going to happen um, this Saturday from 10.30 a.m. till 3 p.m. And uh, if you want more information on that, again, send me a message. Uh, if you are either interested in joining us here at the studio, there's only a few sp spots left. There's not a lot of space here in the studio. And um, also, if you are interested in doing it from home, and uh, joining us, I'm gonna be doing some instruction on how to make certain cards. And then, um, yeah, and those who are here can use my, will be using my materials. But Okay, so I just wanted to let everybody know that that's happening. And then after this, I will be running another vision board workshop uh, coming new year. And I don't, th I'm gonna check dates, but I feel like December gets super busy. So you feel free to throw in some comments there if you have any suggestions around um, dates in terms of months. Don't give me specific dates because I've got a schedule I have to work around too. But um, I feel like January works for vision boards. We don't have to do them right away. And also, although I'm open to doing it in December if people are open, let's just say that. Also, I'm running um, uh, women's groups two of them the and they're to build creativity and also a support network and we're going to work through the book the artist's way so it's going to be done in six week chunks so the book is 12 chapters but i'm going to break that into two sessions and also there's going to be a daytime session and an evening session and the daytime will be more visual arts and uh, writing journaling type of stuff stuff that we can do here in the studio. The evening ones will be more dance movement based with the same themes, just a little bit of different um, approaches. So yeah, that's coming up too. That's coming up actually in January as well. I'll be sending out the information for that too. So wishing everybody a blessed, blessed day. Take some time for yourself in between your to-do lists, okay? Sending you lots of love. See you again, bye.